Today we're taking a look at another very good spot for gathering data for your engineering. And this time we'll turn our attention back towards the megaships. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. A while back I did a video on um, how you could collect a lot of science data for engineering from megaships. But that video is a little bit outdated now, so I thought it would be a good idea to do a little bit of an update for it, uh, both with the new locations, but also um, just to, uh, to, yeah, to get it up to date. Um, so, first of all, what you're going to do is you have to find a mega ship, but of course these things move around and they need to be in a very specific system. So, I've had a look at the different ships and I found the one that I think is the most optimal for, to use for this. Um, and we're going to talk about how you locate the ship as it moves around the different uh, systems um, later on. But first of all, as you can see here, um, I'm slowly approaching the Cave Junction Memorial Science Vessel, which is uh, the one that I'm going to be focusing on today. And we will need some equipment here. I have my, uh, my camera counter here, where's my fire groups, here they are. We will need, of course, our data link scanner, as you can see down here. This is on every single ship in the game, you don't have to fit it, it's just there by default. Then you will need a recon limpet controller. The uh, higher the grade is, um, the better it is, the, the faster it will be able to hack, so the less time you have to sit around and wait. So get the best that you can fit on your ship. And then of course, it's a limpet controller, so bring some limpets. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the ship and we're gonna target it. Make sure you have that uh, white symbol targeted and we're gonna scan it with our data link scanner. We can do this from, uh, from quite a far uh, distance. There we go. Once we've scanned the ship successfully with our data link scanner, we can go over to contacts. And you can see there are different uh, items here that actually sit on the ship. We have some cargo bays. Don't worry about those. There's really nothing in there that I've seen at least that are of, of interest. Um, there are some ship log uplinks. We're going to come back to those later in the video. But the ones that are most interesting to us is the hackable data transmitter. So let's target that, which we can see over here on the ship. And we are going to move a, a little bit closer because we also have to scan this with our data link scanner. And the range for this is quite a bit shorter. I can't remember what it is. Ah, there we go. I'm now in range. I had to get within 350 meters before I could scan it. So that's quite close. But we then scanned the data transmitter. Once we've done that and we still have it targeted, we can now jump over to subsystems where the limpet docking port is, which we will then target. And then we will fire off a recon limpet towards it it will then fly out it will hack it and as soon as it lands we will see this hacking timer and this is the timer that will become better as um, as you get a better limpet controller okay the hack is almost done so now you can see up here in our upper right hand corner all the data we got here some apparent shield pattern analysis we got some classified scan data banks lots and lots of good stuff and this one is now scanned but all we really have to do now if we want to do it again is do a quick board hop so we're going to jump out to the main menu and we're going to lock back in to uh, we can go to the same session again it doesn't really matter and once we're back in we are once again going to target the mega ship scan that with the data link scanner target the uh, data transmitter and scan that target the subsystem fire off a recon limpet and do it again and we can then do this over and over and over again as many times as we like um, the data available, I've actually done quite a bit of data collection and then I read it all down in a spreadsheet and did a quick um, overview of the different data types available. Um, I'll put a small infograph up here so you can see um, what kind of data is available. I've also put the categories up so you can see, um, you can see which categories um, the different data belongs to and of course the grade. And we can see we can even get a decent amount of, um, of grade 5 data and the small pluses indicate how um, how often I would get it. I kind of just try to, to divide it into three categories. So we can see something like modified embedded firmware got two pluses out of three. So that's actually not too bad. And most of the encoded firmware is, is actually pretty good. It, for some reason, I don't got one plus on the security firmware patch. That might just be inaccuracies in my... Uh, in my collection data so of course these are not um, complete numbers this is just based on what I got it's a little bit of RNG in this but at least here you can see which data are available um, that I've been able to um, to get uh, using this 
as I said, these ships move around and you need to do this in a very um, specific set of systems. Now, if you do this in a system that's not anarchy, then the ships that you can see fly around here, they will attack you and you will get a bounty on your head. And if you're not the ship that can defend yourself, you will get killed. So you need to be careful. You can see here right now, they're not really, they don't really care about me. So you need to make sure that the ships are in a anarchy system when you do it. And this is why I'm using this specific ship, because if we scan, I need to get very close here, but I'm gonna scan the uh, the ship locks here, and then we're actually gonna get the uh, the flight plan for the ship so we can see where the ship is uh, is going. Once the scan is complete, you're gonna get a message from uh, from the ship, and here you can actually see the flight plan of the ship. Now, as I said, it's important that the ship is in an anarchy system. Um, and on this list of these uh, six systems that the ship will go through, um, three of them are anarchy systems. So three out of the six, about half of them, is anarchy systems. Um, so if it's not in an anarchy system, you will have to go and find another science vessel. I always go to go to the Viggy page and find the list of the science vessels, um, and then find one that's in an anarchy system, then go there and collect uh, collect the data. So you can use this one on pretty much any science vessel, pretty much any mega ship that has a hackable data transmitter, I guess. Just make sure it's an anarchy system. Um, they move from system to system about every three weeks. Um, this is recorded on the 20th of August. So depending on when this video is released, it's just moved into uh, to this sector a couple of days ago. So depending on when this video is actually released, it mm, there might be like a week or two left before it um, before it leaves for for the next system. So uh, so keep that in mind. But at least. I find it a very effective way. It's, it's one of those places that has a very broad spectrum of, of data. So if you sit here for a while, you would you would see that you a lot of your different data categories are going to slowly begin to uh, to be filled up. But anyway, I really hope that you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space. <laughs>